All right, well, uh, <laughs> uh, I've got an idea. Uh, I've seen a, a couple of these around the internet. I tried to get a few ideas. It's not like everything I want, but it, it's functional. So here's what I've got going on. I got a, I've got a winch. Um, I've got a Harbor Freight winch. It's the Badland 12,000 pound. It's way overkill for what I'm using it for, but I use it for a couple other things too. So, you know, it'll work for this. So my plan is when I'm here by myself, it's hard for me to get non-running cars into the garage. I have to get behind them, push them. The brake's not on, it's not in gear, so it can roll back. It's just, a, it's a mess. So, um, that's a pretty, pretty long way to go too. Way over there where those cars are at. That's kind of neat where I need to get them from. So, I was gonna do a winch system in my garage. But, I've got three bays on this garage and I wanted to be able to use it in any bay. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna need mounting points in each bay. But I also don't want studs sticking up out of the ground or anything like that. So my solution to that was to get these drop-in anchors. So I'm gonna drill holes in the concrete, uh, four in each bay, um, and get those set into the concrete. And the ones that I'm not using, I can actually just put a bolt in it and it's pretty well flush to the floor. I can get the round head bolts. So. So it's like there's nothing there and I don't have anything to trip over mainly. Um, and then I'm gonna build a, a bracket for the winch to go on that I can bolt to the floor and to the winch so I can move it into whichever bay I want, but I can also still use the winch for whatever else I need it for. So that's kind of the plan today is I've got the winch, I've got the anchors, I've got the hammer drill. Today I'm gonna be building the stand or the bracket, whatever you wanna call it, to mount to the floor. So. I swung by the metal place and got some scrap metal. I plan on making a little stand with this stuff, kind of like what they have on uh, on boat trailers, I guess, where uh, you can mount the little hand winch to it. Kind of the same deal there. Um, and people are like, you know, don't use ATV winches. Don't be afraid to use a teeny tiny little winch. I mean, a, a car like this one, right? Like, I don't know, 3,500 pounds. You're not pulling 3,500 pounds. That's how much it weighs down with gravity, right? If you were wanting to pick it straight up in the air, you're picking up 3,500 pounds. With the tires aired all the way up, it will roll with like 100 pounds of force. That's why people can push cars, right? Does that make sense? It's, it's rolling, it's not picking it straight up. So you don't need a huge winch like this one. This one is way overkill for what I'm using it for, but it's what I've got, so I'm gonna use it. Um, anywho, I'm gonna get started on kinda building and designing a stand to see what I can come up with, and I'll kind of show you the steps I take along the way. All right, and after making a pretty big mess, um, I think I got the pieces I need. So this is kind of what I'm looking at. It's gonna be a two-piece setup. It might not be that easy to see right now, but what I'm gonna do is go ahead and clean up all the edges of everything, uh, make sure everything's nice and flat, uh, get it level, uh, whatever I need to do. I'm gonna knock all the old paint off of these things uh, clean any grease off of them and I'm gonna go ahead and tack them into place Just so I can test fit everything and if everything looks okay, then I'll go ahead and weld it So give me just a second and we'll see what it looks like I burnt the thumb off my glove. All right, so this is what the bottom bracket looks like so when I put uh, holes in each corner of this thing, this is what's going to bolt to the ground. Um, I'm kind of I'm I'm kind of making the same setup, but with a size smaller tubing. 
uh, and the top one will be flipped upside down and it will actually slide down into there just like that. I'll have a couple different holes drilled through here with uh, one hole drilled on the inside one also. Um, that way I can kind of adjust it up or down as I need to. So let me get the other one tacked together and we'll kind of see what it looks like. All right, so this part is going to mount to the floor into our drop-in anchors after I get the holes drilled, of course. And then this piece will actually have the, um, the winch mounted to it. So all I'll do once I, once I impact this into the floor, and then come over here, slide the winch down into it, and that's how it'll look. Um, there's gonna be different holes drilled for different heights. So I can put a pin in it and decide what height, uh, what height I need it at. Uh, and basically I wanted to keep it off the floor. One, I didn't want the winch sitting directly on the floor. And two, was for the cable not to rub on the edge of the garage or be on the floor at all. I wanted everything off the ground. So that's what that's gonna let me do. Um, and overall, it looks pretty good. And if I put the winch on it, All right, so I got my holes drilled out. Um, these anchors say a minimum of two, uh, two inches. Uh, I went ahead and went to two and a half. I don't mind it going a little deeper, that's fine. The concrete, there's plenty of concrete there. So these are actually pretty cool. So I've already set one just to make sure everything's good. Uh, you can take the anchor, just drop it in your hole. You take your little pin here. You can hear it get really solid down in there and that thing's not coming out. So the biggest part of this is just measuring out where it's gonna go and making sure everything's where it should be. Okay, so here's <laughs> here's a big update. Um, all the holes are drilled. Um, so this is what we got, right? The winch is on there, got everything mounted, uh, bolted into the anchors down there. You can see our pin here with our adjustment holes so we can raise it or lower it as we need to. Uh, it's too heavy for me to do holding the camera, so I'm not going to do it on camera, but just know it can go a little higher if it needs to. But it is sitting up off the ground. Uh, everything works. I went ahead and tested everything. So it's pretty solid, and I guess the only thing left to do with this is winch a car in here. So let's do a practical test and make sure this thing works. keep having to turn the wheels, but it works. All right, so the winch is done um, and Gooch is back in the garage, so that's good. Whatever the opposite of a squat is, that's what I've got going, <laughs> that's what I've got going on with Gooch. So um, but overall, the winch did exactly what it needed to do. Got a pretty solid setup and I can move it into whatever bay I wanted to. Just got to scoot some stuff out of the way and move that bracket over, but that's it, man. And other than that, um, I think that's going to do it for this video. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.